as far as clubhouse, workout, training, all that, it's been great. So we're, we're thrilled. What was it about this organization um, that really sold you on you guys coming here instead of working on some of Colorado Springs? You know, Colorado Springs, uh, we've been there a long time. The weather is brutal there. I know it can be brutal here, too. Uh, we had a great relationship with them. Uh, the amenities are much better here. Uh, we found out that the people in Colorado Springs, if, if they're Rocky fans, they go to Rocky games. If uh, they're Sky Sox fans, they go to Sky Sox. So it wasn't really working as a, a feeder for, for the Rockies. So uh, we thought either Albuquerque or Salt Lake would be a better match. And Albuquerque became available. And uh, we met, and it was, uh, it was a great decision, hopefully, by both of us. What brings you down here today? You know, uh, every year I go to, I try to go to as many of the facilities as I can. Uh, you know, we're a draft and develop type team, so we got to make sure we have good facilities for our young kids. And this year, I'm going to go to all of them. So this is our first stop, uh, rightfully so. It's, it's a place I haven't been before, and uh, I wanted to see it. Just thrilled with it. Any pressure on the guys to, to perform well for you? I hope that's what the problem was last <laughs> night. If they, if there was too much pressure. I No, I, you know, a lot of these guys have been with us for a long time. I see them in spring training. Uh, no, uh, you know, they're, they're a great group of guys. They're going to play a lot better than they played last night. So, Obviously, the a good working relationship in, just in any business is obviously a positive thing, but... What's the value of having such a good relationship with your AAA affiliate? You know, it's really valuable because there are things that go on during the course of the year and even, you know, during the off season. and you need to work as a team. You know, we, we've got to move players back and forth. Uh, we've got to have great communication. We've got to have good access with the medical people. Uh, we, we've just got to have great access. We came in here. We were treated like rock stars at the hotel. So... It, it's important for all of us to really work together. Well, our goal is the same thing, is to create major league players. So there's a lot of work that goes into that. And creating facilities, batting cages, strength and conditioning, training rooms, all that, it's, it's totally, you know, it's really important for us. And from a marketing standpoint, I mean, is Albuquerque a market that you feel can be yeah. tapped into quite a bit more? I, I think so, yeah. I mean, uh, it's, I, I don't know how many miles it is. It's an hour flight. Uh, we'd love to see people from Albuquerque come up to Denver and come to our games. Uh, we'll try to work to get people that are looking for a vacation to come to a, a game here and see some of our younger players. We're actually going to bring our entire office staff out for a game. I believe it's in August. Uh, so, you know, we're, we're, we're trying to work together and spawn with sponsors and just fans to get a good cross-section going both ways. Entire front office coming up maybe in August. What about the entire team for an exhibition game? Is that on the You know table? what? We're talking about that. Yeah. We're talking about that. You know, it probably uh, unfortunately it's hard to get other teams to, to do that. So it might be us playing ourselves. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that. What can you say to uh, Albuquerque fans who have been affiliated with the Dodgers for so long and Dodger fans to get them to try and become Rocky fans? Well, we are the, the good guys, and the Dodgers are not good guys. Uh, you know, I grew up as a Dodger fan, but it wasn't hard for me to change. I changed like that. So uh, uh, change, you know, this is a great organization, and uh, we're sort of, you know, the big, the big market teams are sort of the, the Davids or the Goliaths, and we're the Davids. So, you know, I think it get on with this team because uh, – a lot of kids that come through here are going to end up in the major leagues, and they're going to help us win a World Series. Obviously, good. I know you, you own the team of the Pioneer League, is that right? Uh, yes. And is there a thought about possibly continuing that trend? With the yeah, <clears throat> we'd like to have relationships with all of our minor league affiliates. Major League Baseball has taken a look at that because there's been some things that have gone on. Uh, not, you know, with other affiliations uh, that sort of broke a tie. For instance, um, you know, Oklahoma City, the Dodgers bought that 100%. So th that's all right by the rules. But let's say they had about 20% of Oklahoma City and kicked, I think it was Houston, out of there. 
or somebody came in here. So Major League Baseball's got some new rules that they're writing up about that, but we would love to be uh, part ownership of this affiliation as well. How would that change the relationship? I, I don't think it would. Uh, we love the way these guys run it. They, they do a great job. So all we do is, uh, is hopefully make a little money off it, but uh, guarantee that we were in this thing for the long haul together. Now, you talked about having to build from within. We saw what the Royals did last year, getting all the way to the World Series. You know, you hope everybody hopes the same for the Rockies uh, that follows this team. Uh, you got a great offense up there. Do you see more money going into American minor leagues or, or over in the Dominican to find the pitching that needs to go with it? Yeah, I mean, um, the way the draft is set up now uh, with the slotting and everything, if you play poorly like we have the last – two or three years, you're going to get the draft picks, and you're going to, we have signed them all. Uh, Jonathan Gray, who's here, was the third pick, what, two years ago. We've got the best facility in the Dominican, uh, and that's not me bragging on it. That's U.S. 29 other clubs, and they'll tell you the same thing. So we have spent more. The other thing with the new, uh, bar- with the, the new uh, bargaining agreement that happened some years ago is the teams that play poor get to spend more in the Dominican so we are spending more in the Dominican and you know we're we spend you know we're trying to get as many pitchers as we can it's a tough commodity it's a tough commodity in Colorado to keep them healthy but you know what we we have never in our history and I've been there since 97 had the the quantity and quality of pitchers that we have in the system Uh, Jonathan Gray is going to get things going Chad Bettis is is a, a great young prospect. So, um, you know, well, yeah, we're spending we're spending a lot of money. Anything you hope to accomplish while you're here? No, uh, you know, we're we're gonna watch the game tonight. We're gonna. I think we've got a little losing streak going, so we got to get that that stopped. And you know, look at some of the guys. Talk to the guys. Talk to the coaches. You know, the coaches are out here fighting a battle, sort of on their own. I mean. The, the front office comes out here periodically, but they're, they're fighting a battle. And so, you know, to build them up and tell them how important they are to the organization because they're the ones that are going to get the guys that we got to have at the big leagues. So, no, just see the guys and this one to, to see the facility and walk around it and get ideas for our facility, pass ideas that we might have on to John. So, you know, just out here to have a little fun. Have you been to Albuquerque before? I have. I was here for the final four, which was in what year? Somebody tell 83? me. 83? 83. So that, uh, and I've probably been through here a few other times, but that was the last time I was here. So here for the final, were you at the game? Yes, I was at the game. And, you know, the interesting thing about that game is everybody remembers it as the North Carolina State game, but the game before it was incredible, and that was Louisville and Houston. And, you know, in 83, there wasn't this running up and down the floor and dunking like there was in that game. They were, it was an incredible Final Four. So, red or green? Uh, red. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? They, <laughs> I, was, I was wondering if you actually knew. It's the Albuquerque question. We, we have, we're famous for our chili, of course, and so we have to oh, the caravan. Red uh, or green I got, chili? Can I change them? Yeah. I'm going to green. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Blackman said the right answer. He, you know, for everybody out of town, he said Christmas. That way you can't offend anybody because you get a little bit of both that there, way. There you go. There you go. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, we're leaving tonight. <laughs>